Good morning and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. Day number 5 this week, match number 1 of 15 today. Scott Marsh up against Diogo Portella. Scott Marsh, of course, was Monday's winner. Wednesday was Fallon Sherrick, who we'll be seeing a little bit later on. Tuesday, Boris Koltsov was the winner. And yesterday, the Imperious. Martin Adams, five out of five yesterday. 96. Here we go. Wins the ball. And gets us underway. 57. Best of nine, of course, all of these matches today. First to five, two points for a win. 140. Each player will play five matches. So, of course, a possibility of 10 points, as Martin Adams 60. produced yesterday. Scott Marsh was the one to three favourite for this match. Portella quoted at nine to four. 63. Monday's meeting between these two was a five two win for Scott Marsh. 100. High finish of 119 for Scott Marsh. 27% on his doubles. Two one eighties in the match, and they both went to Diogo. Thirty eight. Wednesday, Scott Marsh was the winner again. This time, five legs to three. Three one eighties in the match. Two to Scott Marsh. Thirty three percent on his doubles. Five from fifteen. So one to three is a little mean, but looking at the results 84. this week, for those of you that like to do the old roll-up bet, 83. it be worth sticking in. First down to a finish, Diogo hits the trouble 20, needs double 10. 75. 101 for Marsh. Break a throw opportunity. 82 left. Went for the trouble. 14 for tops. Checking three. Oh, he finds the double one. It's a 21 dart hold of throw. 100. Also in action today, following this one, Jose Justicia against Scott Marsh. 97. The Diogo versus Jose. 81. Keelan K in action. John Brown. And Wednesday's winner, Fallon Sherrock. She will be on around about 25 to 1, playing her first match. 100. If you are joining us for the first time on YouTube, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll send you an alert every time we go live. 85. And don't forget for a slightly 
higher quality picture you can watch over at www.dartshop.tv where you'll also be able to purchase tickets and player merchandise for first forthcoming exhibitions all staged by modus so scott marsh 95 left after 12. Wants the Check bullseye the and hits the bullseye for a 15 dart holder throw. Forty-six. Ninety-seven. Sixty. Sixty. Also, don't forget to give us a follow across social media if you'd like to get involved with the chat at Moda Starts One Eighty. Fifty-seven. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Eighty-one. Quality of the games between these two has not been great this week. And you'd think the pace of the game would suit both. Forty-three. Seventy-six plus seven for eighty-three. Hundred and fifteen, the lead for Scott Marsh on the Diogo Portela throw. Ninety-six. So six darts at one eighty for a two-one lead. We'll have to break through. One hundred to win this match, Scott Marsh. With Portella winning the ball, of course. One hundred and two. It's good thinking. Leaves a two dark finish. That's trouble five. So fifteen ball, trouble fifteen, double ten. That was risky. Uh, 40. I'm not sure about that shot. So 97 for Diogo. 78 left. Treble 18 for double 12. Nowhere near. 57. Tops for Marsh for 2 1. Twenty. Awkward with the way his darts sit in the board. A very flat throw. Scott Marsh stacks in the Tracking target. Yeah, that's a 23 dart hold of throw this time for Diogo and a 2 1 lead. 140. Perfect example of that stacking technique. Reminiscent of Phil Taylor, of course. Marsh's darts more 60. horizontal to the floor. Phil's used to be. Oh, they used to droop even more than Scott Marsh's. 50. Teller's darts sit up far more traditionally. 140. Ninety-seven. 
138. Just misses the treble 18 to leave tops. He'd be fairly happy with that. 76 after just 12 darts thrown. Possible 14 dart leg. 140. And a great 140 from Portella puts a little bit of pressure on that. 76 and 2. And that's a lovely clean finish. Thirty two. One hundred and forty. Early pressure again on the Portella throw. One hundred. Tellers holds a throw of coming 21 and 23 darts. He's not going to continue to get away with that. Eighty-one. Best of nine. You always fancy legs five and six. Couldn't be. Can be pivotal. 100. This is a solid leg from Scott Marsh. Back-to-back -back 140s in a ton, taking him down to 121 after just nine darts. 93. And six darts at this 121 to get the break of throw. 45 for double eight. Top set, 81 scored. Yeah, risk the going for the twenty five in an earlier leg. Ninety one. Just checking his score. Eighty two scored. Oh, great counting. 82 scored, which does leave 39, so double 16. 39 in three. And gets it this time. Sorry, Diogo. 100. And the break of throw comes in 18 darts. 50. Actually, it was a 15 dart break of throw. 55. Averages at the moment 87.69 for Scott Marsh, 80.78 for Diogo Portella. Three 140s apiece. Eight scores 66. of a ton or more for Marsh, five for Diogo. After breaking throw, only 116 points in six darts at the start of leg six for Scott Marsh. 59. Nine darts without a treble. So Portella now has to throw in this leg to break straight back. 45. A chance for Marsh now. Lost his way on the treble. 45. It's a soft tip machine in the background in that shot of Scott Marsh. Prior to that lockdown, was travelling a lot on the 
soft tip circuit. And his throw is very reminiscent of a lot Don't of the Asian want. soft tip players. Probably why he's 97. been successful on the soft tip circuit. Eighty-five. Tops for the break of throw. Checking three. Tops he gets. Levels things up. So now, the best of three. Fifty-seven. One hundred twenty-five. Thirty. And he has gone off the boil since. Breaking throw, winning legs so far for Scott Marsh, 15, 14 and 15, 59. Portella 21, 23 and 18. Scott Marsh has managed to take seven points off of his average. But there is the first 180 of the match. And needed for Scott Marsh. Fifty seven. May switch to treble eighteen. Forty four. Treble eighteen would have left him <coughs> one forty. <coughs> More likely to leave a double off of that, of course. Fifty eight. Would have left tops. Fifty nine. Should be going for the ball. Forty two. Sixteen tops for Diogo for a full three lead. Checking three. Let's see, 21 dart holder throw this time. So, maximum of two legs remain. Marsh has to win them both. 85. I think two 15 darters would be enough. Forty-eight. Perfect dart for Marsh. 100. Disappointed not to score more from there. 81. 
again, low in the 60. It's a perfect first star. A good second. Didn't find the 180. 140 takes him down to 176. 42. To 100. The deflection. He's unlucky there. Finds the trouble 20 with his final dart to leave 76, which he took out in leg four. And two darts. 140. Triple tops left. 36 goal. 36 left at tops. Ninety-six. Going in one. That's a sixteen dart hold of throw. Yeah, and we go to a deciding leg. Three hold three holds of throw, two breaks of throw. Ninety-nine. Forty one. Ninety nine. Need uh, at least two trebles here. Try and get back into this leg. One hundred. Still. 57 behind, plus these. 100. Fortella looking at 100. 719s to leave 170, but there's nothing Marsh can do off of 360 to leave a finish, so he won't be going for the 170 anyway. Which does 60. baffle me. Why players do that? understandable of course if you're playing the percentages if your opponent can leave a finish oh, 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 oh. Oh, went for it anyway and got a bounce out <laughs> the deciding leg of a match it's not good board management double 16 for a 5-4 win. It's a great marker. 18. That would have been for a 14 and a 15 dark leg, which would have been the best of the match for Portella. 60. Mar Marsh will be disappointed with this performance. Checking three. And Portella finds double 16 with his third and final dart to get the upset win. Scott Marsh, a 1-3 to three favourite for that match. Only 1-180, as you can see here in there. That was by Scott Marsh. Had the slightly higher average, but it's Portella that prevails. Up next, Jose Justicia up against Scott Marsh.
morning and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. Scott Marsh back in action after the disappointment of the opener going down 5-4 to Diogo Portella in a real scrappy affair. This time he's up against Jose Justicia. Bullseye. Bullseye. Going, Jose. Scott was the one to three favourite in that opener. Three to ten oh, in this one. Jose priced up at five to two. Sixty. Third meeting. Between these two this week. 41. Scott Marsh was a 5 2 winner on Monday. Averaged 87.71. There was two 180s in the match, one apiece. Some good finishes a 120 from Jose, a 144 from Scott Marsh. Scott Marsh, 41.67%. 5 out of 12. One hundred and twenty five. Wednesday, Scott Marsh 85. did the double, played even better in this one, averaged ninety point one, two one eighties, four one forties, thirteen scores of a ton or more. Thirty one percent on his doubles. Uh, 58. Spain versus Brazil in our next match as Portela takes on Justicia. Oh, goodness. Uh, 40. Jose. Okay. 86 scored. 77 for Marsh. Trouble 19 for double 10. 18 for tops. 70, 73. Let's see, 21 dark hold of throw. Marsh's winning legs in the opener were decent quality. Uh, 97. His winning legs were an average of 100. 140. 0.20, 15, 14, 15, and 16. Just made a mess of the legs on the 100. Portella throw. It was Portella at 154 and gets two points on the board. 125. One hundred and forty. I will start bringing you table updates once each of the six players has played one game. One hundred. Tidy leg this from Justicia, 61, 40, 1, 2, 5 and a ton to leave 76 after 12. One's tops. Gets tops. Forty-three. Sixty. 
60. One hundred and forty. Ninety two. Rosie has thrown out in this leg. Make the darts off of Marsh. 59. Fifty-eight. Usually fine with Jose if he gets off to a good start to the day. He tends to have a one hundred and forty. A bit of confidence from that. If he loses his opener, he tends 85. to have a real tough day. So Marsh to hold throw. 107, 88 left. Went for the trouble, 16 for tops. 51. So 58 for Jose for a 2 1 lead and a break of throw. Once tops. Game in three. Gets tops. Goes in front. Going to the fourth leg, I'll give you a, an update on the stats. 96. Jose Justicia, his average is 88. Scott Marsh, 78. 100. Two 140s apiece. Five scores of a ton or more for Jose, four for Marsh. 60. Jose, 50% 50 on his doubles, 2 out of 4. 100% for Scott Marsh, 1 out of 1. 100. Ninety one. One hundred. Can we see the opening two matches producing two big outsiders? Thirty four. Portella was nine to four in the opener. Jose was a five to two shot in this one. Six. Oh, 88 for 3 1. <clears throat> Two darts, double 14. He was walking, thought it was in, so did I. Double 7. 74. So, tops for Marsh. Now, this is really awkward. I need one of the corners Shot to aim at three. and finds it. The wonderful final dart. And breaks straight back. Eighty one. As we've seen over the 140 five months, it's fairly volatile. 
Uh, gambling on the dart, so please bet responsibly. And please don't blame the players if your bet goes down. 114. I can assure you, they are all trying their hardest. Seventy-four. Eighty-one followed by followed by it back to back one forties and seventy-four takes Scott Marsh down to sixty-six after just twelve darts. Time on his side here. Once tops. Twenty-six. Wow. That's a long, long way off. One hundred and eighty. That's our first of this match. Came in two. All in vain for Jose Justicia. Twenty-five. Sixty. Scott Marsh has lifted his average up to nearly eighty-four. Jose sat around eighty-five. One hundred and forty. Eighty one. One seventy for Justicia. Seen Portella. Fifty eight. Get a bounce out on the ball for the one seventy in our opener. Sixteen left. One twelve. Fifty four. I'm not sure about that when you for the ninety nine percent of the game you use trouble twenty why you'd try for four nineteens for top. Shot and three. And that's a break of throw. In 18 darts for Scott Marsh and a full two lead now, just one leg away from winning his first match of the day. Fifty-five. One good visit here. Forty-five. Uh, he'd be in complete control, but forty-five just left the door ajar. For Jose, he can't find a treble either. So. Eighty-five. 
60. Fifty-nine. Down to a finish of one sixty. Sixty. Six starts at one sixty for a five two win. Sixty. And the tops tops so 96 for Jose to stay in it perfect first start perfect second start a 20 dart break a throw for Jose stops the rock Scott Marsh on three legs on the spin after trading 2-1 Strong start to this leg. The Justicia. It's bang in the middle. 45. Shake of the head from Marsh, can't believe 128. how far away that first start is, but a great recovery picking off the two treble 18s to leave 150. If he was playing 65. on that board in the back of shot there, he'd be going for three balls. Forty-seven. Seventy for Jose. My finish yesterday was from Scott Mitchell, one sixty one. Forty six left. You went for it, mate. Surely you know where it leaves. Double eighteen. Shot in three. And in it goes. And the highest finish of the match there going to Scott Marsh and a much needed 5-3 win. Only an average of 81.51 there for Scott Marsh. It was a scrappy affair. Well, the winner of our opener, Diego Portella, is up against Jose Justicia in our next one.
morning and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 3 of 15 today. Spain versus Brazil. Diogo Portela up against Jose Justicia. All the best, brother. Bullseye. 25. Diogo wins the ball and gets the honour. Exchanging pleasantries as they warmed up in Spanish and a mix of Portuguese. 60. Diogo now based in the UK, of course, but originally from Rio de Janeiro. 95. Bookies. Have this down as a close one. Portela, marginal favourite, four to five. Jose Justicia, eleven to ten. Third meeting, of course, between these two this week. Monday. Jose was a five to winner. And did the double beat him again 5 2 on Wednesday? Averaged nearly 87 in that one. 54. 133. Checking three. Very tidy. 15 dart. Hold a throw. From Diogo Portella. 60. He'll be fully aware that he's been beaten twice by Jose this week. He'll want to put that right. No doubt will be buoyed from that 5 4 Four win. Over Monday's champion Scott Marsh in the opening match. One hundred and forty. Keelan K in action for the first time today in our next one against 41. Scott Marsh. Is one seventy ninety nine one hundred and forty five went for it, missed the ball. One hundred and twenty-three. Nine. 
134 for Diogo. Anthony Treble 18 first, believe 18. 98. Most likely would have gone tops tops if the 54 would have landed. Okay, into. That's a 20 dart hold of throw for Jose. Twenty six. Oh, what a chance, for Jose, to punish that opening. Sixty. Score of twenty six. I can't find a treble himself. Ninety six. Eighty-five. Just guilty of floating. A few too many darts at the moment. Paul Teller releasing the dart a little too early. Ninety six. One hundred and forty. Down to a finish of one twenty. Ninety six. So 120 for a break of throw. 60. 102 for Portella to hold throw. Yeah. You can see why he stayed there. 70. Game in three. And that is the break of throw coming in 18 darts for Jose. Jose, a keen soft tip player, very so much like six. Scott Marsh. Former European champion, Jose. 58 85 Good reply there. 180. That's Jose's first 180 of the match. One apiece now. Six starts for Jose at this 160 to hold throw. Double his lead. 60. Uh, 60. Sixty-four. Another one of those. Game three. Oh, lovely finish. 
20 tops tops a 15 darter and a 3-1 lead Not so long ago, that was regarded as a, a bit of an exhibition shot, but 85. of course the doubles are target twice the size of a treble. Players today, if they hit one, you expect them to follow, which is exactly what Jose did there. 57. Can Jose... Do the treble this week over Diogo. 45. In a great position. Both averaging 83 at the moment. 140. 180 apiece. It's three out of eight attempts on the doubles for Jose, 37.5%. One out of four for Diogo, 25%. One hundred and twenty-four. One hundred and forty. Two twelves for Diogo. One hundred and twelve. Took a ton out in the last leg. Can only take this one twelve out. Oh, that's ninety, so double eleven. Eleven, uh, one hundred and one. The move six. Well, what a chance here for Justicia three double four for a four one lead and a double break. Seven score clip the wire. I think the second dart couldn't find. Marginal adjustment with the third dart. Checking one. Oh, that's a, got away with one there. 22 dart hold of throw. Jose will be kicking himself. 125. One hundred and forty. Sixty. Forty-two. Opportunity here for Portella to get the break back. Ninety-five. It's a great last start. Takes him down to two oh six. One 
Down to a finish of 124. Again, released too early. It's just a timing issue. 124. Oh dear. That leaves 109. Fifty-five. Fifty-eight. I have options on sixty-nine. Double sixteen. Seventy-seven. 89 for Diogo to get the all important break back. Two darts at double 16. Tracking two. And there it goes. 89 finish in two for a 17 dart breaker throw. And that's got him right back into the match. Won the opener. Jose won the next three. Diogo. It's just one back to back legs. 41. And now we're back on throw. One hundred thirty four. One hundred. It's keeping pressure on Portella's throw here. Eighty two. One hundred and forty. First down to a finish of one oh three. Sixty. Possible fifteen dart leg here for Jose. Double sixteen. Game in three. And takes it out. One hundred. Another lovely hundred finish in leg four with twenty tops tops. And just took out the 103 there for a break of throw. 100. Back to back tons. For Jose. Three good visits now away from his first two points of the day. 41. Falling into that trap. 85. 
of just trying a little bit too hard. Justicia. Just to make, remain relaxed, relaxed. Don't need any tension in the shoulder or in the tricep. So 156 for Portella to take us to a deciding leg. Forty-five. That's a disaster. Ninety for the match then. Seventy-five left. Twenty-five ball. Thirty-six. Trouble twenty. Would have left double sixteen. That's a long, long way off. And eventually, Jose Justicia gets over the line and gets his first two points of the day. Our opening three matches have produced three different winners, and they're all on two points. Up next, Scott Marsh is back in action, and he's up against Keelan Kay.
Morning and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number four of 15 today. And the first match for Keelan K. 25. Third match of today for Scott Marsh. 25. 1 1, lost one. Lost the opener 5 4 to Diogo Portella. And then had a 5-3 win over Jose Justicia. Outside. All the best. Scott's won the ball and will get us underway. One hundred. Diogo Scott. And 100. Jose, all on two points after registering one win apiece. One hundred. Fifty-seven. Eight to fifteen favourite for this one. Scott Marsh, Keelan K, quoted at thirteen to eight. 134. Third meeting today between these two this week. Keelan won 100. on Monday 5 3. Scott Marsh averaged 88. Keelan K averaged 81. 33% on his doubles. Keelan K only 17% for Scott Marsh, which is where that game was won and lost, of course. 118. Shot and one. That's a <clears throat> 16 dart hold of throw for Scott. One hundred and twenty-nine. They met again on Wednesday, of course. Fifty-five. Keelan K won that one as well. 5 3. He averaged just over 86. Scott Marsh averaged 81.8. 5 out of 14 on his doubles. Keelan K. 85. 3 out of 9 for Scott Marsh. Hundred and forty. Following this one, Diogo Portella back in action. One hundred and twenty-five. The first match today for John Brown. Fifty-five. Tops. Fifty six. Sixty left. Two tens for Keelan to level things up. And that's a sixteen darter of his own. Both the opening legs, one in sixteen darts on throw. One hundred and twenty-five. One 
180. First 180 of the contest goes to Scott Marsh. 93. Fifty seven and one eighty for Scott takes him down to two sixty four. And another one eighty takes him down to eighty four. Keelan K back on two eight three minus these. Eighty one takes him down to two oh two. Eighty four for Scott Marsh. Sixteen left. Sixty eight. That goes for a twelve darter. So, double eight. Yeah, came in two. That's a 14 dart hold. Impressive start. This is more like it. 100. Average is 93 and a half for Keenan K, 96.2 for Scott Marsh. 96. Oh, uh, 35, 42. That was a loose one. 38 behind on throw here. 100. And he finds the trouble 20 with his final dart to leave 120. Ninety-two. Great last start. Seventy-eight. Ninety for Marsh for a break of throw and a three-one lead. Wants the bullseye. Fifty-two. For two tops, 17 leaves 25. Whoa. Missed the big one. As my old mate Rod Arrington would say, uh, do not miss the big number. He's done it twice there. Double 19 for Scott Marsh. Six for double 16, splits it. And made the right decision, and that's a 17 dart break of throw for Scott Marsh. And now leads 3 1. One hundred and thirty-four. Forty-two. Quick heads up for the next match. 96. John Brown against Diogo. John Brown's had two five-two wins over. Diogo this Six. week. I have to say, Diogo looks out of sorts today, and they've both been priced up at well, nine to ten. There may well be a bit of value in backing John Brown in the next one. 
Sixty. Three one here for Keelan. Time on his side. Thirty eight. Fifty eight. Keelan K in a good spot here to break straight back. Leaves tops, Mars way back. 244. He's thrown 15 darts. 100. 35. Forty-four. And with Keelan on five, he wants to stay switched on. He's found the big number this time. Double two. One dart left. One scored. Hits the ball this time. And that's a 24 dart hold of throw. He really did pick his pocket there. Keenan K will be seriously disappointed with that leg. 100. Should have won the last two. Lost them both and now trails four legs to one. Uh, now 36. One forty. Turn on a one forty. For Keenan K takes him down to two sixty one. 55. Next leg will be key for Marsh. He will have the darts. 105. He'll just look to serve it out. 105. Both in. 180. That's his third of the match. Double 18. 138. That would have been for a 12 darter. Serious double trouble today. 140. Just one from eight on the doubles for Keelan K. Oh, yeah, no that's score. a disaster. He's just taken the bull out on the 86. Can you go 20 20 ball here? Just make sure of the 20. Oh, he's risked it, gone for the treble, hit it once double five. 80. Nearly found the treble one. Finds. The double four. For an 18 dart holder throw. One match dart. On double five for Scott Marsh. 100. Eighty-seven and a half is the average for Scott Marsh. Eighty-five for Keelan K. One hundred and twenty-five. Four out of eight on his doubles. Fifty percent for Scott Marsh. Just two from twelve though for Keelan K. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. 
twice as many scores for Keelan. Of a ton or more. That's a full max. Scott Marsh. Forty-five. So one one five for a break of throw and really get him right back in this contest. Fifty-nine. Fifty-six. Two match darts now for Marsh. Two. He's found his finishing boots now. That's a 14 dart break of throw for Keenan K. And we are back on throw. Sixty. Forty. That's got to be a chance now for Marsh. One hundred. Only a ton. Could have been a lot worse for Keelan K, but he's found the red bit. Loses the line. Seventy-eight. Twice. The weight of throw was good. Twenty-four. Thirty-one. Can't afford another poor visit here, Keelan K. Forty-five. That's exactly what he's done. Marsh finds the trouble twenty. Eighty-four. He's gone for the switch and dragged it down into the four. A much tougher finish for Scott Marsh. 136. Looked to be plenty of room for the 180 there for Keelan K. I'm not sure about the switch. Tops, tops. 20 left, 114. Hit the first tops. Missed tops with his third dart for the checkout and the win. 72 for Keelan K. 16 for tops. Tops he needs. One dart. 32. Game in one. And hits it with his first dart to get the win. 5 3. 4 1 8 is in the match. Probably, well, without doubt. Scott Marsh's best performance of the day, and he moves to four points and top of the table. Back in action in our next one, Diogo Portella, and he's up against John Brown.
afternoon and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Dra Red Dragon. This is match number 5 of 15. Diogo Portello back in action and the first match today for John Brown. Up to 25. So 25. Here's our throw again, both hitting 25. This term, this time Diogo will go for the ball. Bullseye. And finds the cherry. 25. Okay, okay. Diogo wins the honour. As I said in the previous match, both players quoted us at 9 to 10. 96. Bookies can't split them. Which I find quite bizarre. 95. Considering this is their third meeting this week, the previous two, John Brown has won them both 5-2. Fifty-eight. So far today, Diogo won the opener by four with an eighty average. So lost his second match with a seventy-nine point nine one. Ninety-five. Twenty-two. Unfortunate bounce out at the twenty. S uh, Went to the ball, which was the right shot. Ninety-six. John Brown's first match today, as I've said. We'll take a maybe a leg or two to warm to the task. Sixty. One, two, three. Very unfortunate there, not to find the. Travel 20 with his third dart. And it's got him back in the leg. 41. So 106. It's going around for a break of throw and a 1 0 lead. Double 16. Game in three. Takes the 106 out. More of a break of throw. In 18 darts. A shot from John Brown picking off the two trouble 19s after the first start was a blocker. 57. John Brown, of course, the son of Steve Brown, a tour card holder. 140. 
course, the man behind the JDC and the recently 100. launched Mad Darts platform. Exciting times ahead for the amateur side of the game. 51. Forty-four left for Diogo. Twelve for double sixteen. Oh, wow, eighty score. And again, that's a, a timing issue to be that far away from double sixteen. That's a sixteen dart hold of throw for John Brown. Modus, of course, the team behind the live leagues. We've been bringing you for the last five months a big supporter of the JDC. Twenty-three. Much better leg here from Diogo Portella. One forty ninety-nine and one two three takes him down to a finish of one thirty-nine. Time on his side, John Brown, back on two fifty. Seventy-six. John Brown, of course, still has the break of throw. Checking three. That's a 15 dart hold of throw. Best leg of the match so far. 100. Ninety-nine. Back to back tons for JB. One hundred and thirty-nine. 99 and 139 for Diego Portella takes him down to 263. 81. Threatening to break back here, Portella. 134. That's a great visit. 100. Great final dart to take him down up to 120. Trouble 20 and ball here for Portella. 90 left. 40. Ooh, that's a loose last one. He took out 106 in the opening leg, John Brown. Can he take this 120 out once tops? 100. So 89 for Diogo, treble 19 with left, double 16, 70 left. That leaves the bullseye. 25 left, 64. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
17 dart hold. John Brown, if he'll go to have a dart at the ball for the break of throw, off of 89. 59. 58. Let's see the contrast in throws. Uh, Diogo's letting go a little early. 43. And looking at John Brown, you can see he's getting to the end of his throw. And follow through. 57. So much more direct action. Diogo's darts are getting a little bit too much air. 84. 83. Twenty-six. Chance here for John Brown to get the double break. Ninety-nine. Eighty-five in front, minus these on the Portella throw. Ninety-nine. Lucky not to leave a finish there. One hundred. One hundred twenty nine. So one oh four. For a full one lead. Could go forty eight thirty six. Fifty six. Sixty one then for Diogo to hold throw. Double sixteen. Checking three. And takes it out. It's the double sixteen. For a twenty-one dart hold. I have to say that was an opportunity missed there for John Brown. Needs to avoid getting involved in a scrappy game here. This is better from Diogo. One hundred and forty. One three seven. Good response from Brown. He needed that. Should switch. May switch again. Fifty eight. Forty four. One hundred and thirty three. So great shot to leave one seventy. One hundred. Again, finds the trouble with his third and final dart to leave a finish, but Diogo looking good for the break of throw. One hundred and thirty four. Brilliant setup shot. From the Brazilian. And that was Brazilian. Another one of those. Ooh, would have left tops. 100. Checking one. Let's see. 13 dart, break of throw, and back to back legs. 
for Diogo Portella, and we're back on the throw. That's three apiece. Diogo Portella has lifted his average up to 89.16. 60. It's around 10 points up on his average for the day so far. John Brown hovering around 85. 100. 50% on his doubles, John Brown. 60% Diogo Portella. 43. Needs to find a few 100. more two treble visits, John Brown. Got back to back tons to start leg seven. Ninety six. Ninety six. One hundred. So one forty six. John Brown on the Portella throw. 95. Again, another great last start. Leaves 51. Another one of those for two 12s. Leaves 128. To leave double eight, good pressure. Two darts at 32. Eight Only needs the one, and that is the break of throw. That gives him the opportunity now to serve it out. He'll get two points on the board in his opening game. One, three, five. Bang in the middle, that one. Not surprised he followed it. 140. Again, plum in the middle. 137. What a great response this is from Portella. 140, followed by 137. 137. 37. One more decent visit from Portella. And he'll be in. 85. All position. One three five. Super shot from young John Brown, taking him down to a two dart finish for a five three win. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Fourteen for tops. Wow, that was. Well, that must have just slipped out of his hand to be that far away. 44. And that third dart clipped the wire. You hear how close it was. This has been a good leg from Diogo. Tops after 12. Under extreme pressure, of course. 
Two tens. Love's taking them out with his final dart. 32. Right next door in double six in the corner. Game and one. And John Brown completes the job, winning 5-3 and making it 3 out of 3 against Diogo Portella this week. No 180s in the match. A very good average, though, from Diogo Portella, just under 90. 86-26 from John Brown. Up next, Jose Justicia back in action against Fallon Sherrick.
Welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 6 of 15 today. Jose Justicia back in action and the first match today for Fallon Sherrock. Both outside so they'll go again. 25. Fallon is the 8 to 15 favourite. Jose Justicia, 17 to 10. Uh, Jose wins the ball and will get us underway. Sixty. Jose lost his opener to Scott Marsh, 5-3, then beat Diogo Portella, 5-3, in match number three today. 60. Monday's meeting between these two was a 5-4 win for Jose Justicia. 82.69 average for Fallon, 84.28 average for Jose. The rematch on Wednesday was Revenge. The Fallon, she won 5-2 with an impressive 93.08 average, two 180s, 45% on her doubles. And of course, Wednesday, the title went to Fallon. Needed the second probably eighteen to leave double ten, so fifty six left. Seventy nine. Steve, 16, 80 for Fallon, two tens. And that's a instant break of throw with that 80 checkout. Scott Marsh and John Brown to face off in our next match. Both in back to back 140s for Fallon. Scott Marsh tops the table currently on four points. Diogo, John Brown and Jose, all with one win on two points. And Keelan K at the foot of the table, currently having played just one match, losing to Scott Marsh 5-3. One oh eight for Fallon. Double eighteen. Forty. 
a 16 dart hold of throw. Took a few weeks off, as I did, did Dan and Sherrod. 96. Didn't play anywhere near her best darts on Monday, but played very, very well on Wednesday. And okay here so far, early doors, two out of three on her doubles. One hundred and twenty. Trouble with Libra. Uh, I thought it was in trouble for fifty one. Not a chance for a double breaker throw here. Just loses the line, recovers to leave eighty three. Double 17 for double 16. 16 now for the ball. Trouble 16 leaves double 9. And that's a beautiful finish. And that's a 15 dart break of throw and a 3 0 lead. What a start to the day. This is for Fallon Sherrock. First 180 of the match goes to Jose. One hundred. Tidy leg so far from Jose, 180, followed by back-to-back -to -back tons. Takes him down to 121 after nine. He's got to go for this, 11 ball. And takes it out. 12 dart break of throw with a 121 checkout. Forty-one. Couldn't afford to give Fallon a go at 152. Not when you're three nil down. Forty five. No. Break a throw and then follows it up with two visits of forty one and forty five. Fifty-seven. Right. 
started with a ton fell on and then has followed it up with 59 60 and 56 a ton for jose it takes him down to 158 92 <laughs> One hundred and thirty-four. Great setup shot from Justicia to leave two twelves. Fallon will try and put a little bit of pressure on it. Jay, in two. And that's a twenty dart hold of throw for Jose. Back in the match, still a break of throw down. To back one forties for Fallon. Eight. One hundred. 161 for Fallon. No. 39. Leave double twelve after just fifteen darts. Ninety nine. Two threes. Three darts. A 4 2 lead. Tops, tops. There's one of them. 60. Done that already today. I did that against Diego Portella in the fourth leg of their match. This is awkward. The flight is in the way. Game in two. Opening three legs to Fallon. The next three to Jose. Back to back tons. For Jose Justicia down to 301. Both on two four two, three legs apiece. Fifty nine. 
180. That's a second max for Jose. Yet to see one from Fallon. Double 16 for full three. 16 left. He'll be back. No finish for Fallon. One. 16 dart, hold a throw for Jose, one leg away from joining Scott Marsh on four points. Eighty-one. We'll give you a table run down at the start of the next match as every player will have played at least one game then one hundred back to back tons for Fallon to start leg eight leg she has to win of course to take us all the way Opening match went all the way. 85. The next four all went 5 3. 43. Well, ball double sixteen for Fallon. Seventeen leaves tops for four four, and then it goes tidy leg from Fallon, and we go all the way. One leg shootout for two points. Jose starting on nineteens. 97. Both in. Forty-five. So a chance for Fallon. And what a time to find the first 180 of the match in the deciding leg after opening with a 140. 97. So 140, 180 in a ton takes Fallon down to 81 after nine possible 11 data. Two oh five left for Jose, so he needs a trouble to leave a finish. Uh, and she goes route one and out in a twelve darter to win the deciding leg of that match, an average of 84.5. Jose Justicia, 79.44. Some great finishing in that one by both players. Up next, Scott Marsh against John Brown.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 7 of 15. Scott Marsh topping the table currently on four points against John Brown who's only played the one match so far and that was a 5-3 win over Diogo Portella. So we'll give you a full table rundown once we get the 25. bullet out of the talking. way. So John Brown wins the ball. One hundred. Well, Scott Marsh played three, one, two, four points plus three leg difference. Eighty-one. John Brown played one, 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 two points plus two leg difference. Fallon Sherrick played one, 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 two points plus one leg difference. Jose Justicia played three, one, one, two points minus one leg difference. Diogo Portella. Played three, one, one, two points, minus three, leg difference. Keelan K played one, lost one, no points, minus two, leg difference. Scott Marsh was the one to three favourite here to defeat John Brown, who was quoted at nine to four. Sixty. Fifty-six. Trouble twenty and tops for Marsh. Sixty. One sixty-four for John Brown. Another one of those will leave the ball. Ooh. Um sixty-four. Sixty-four. Twenty and tops for Marsh for a break of throw and a one-nil lead. Shot in two. Scott was Monday's winner, and that is a 17 dart break of throw. And these two did meet on Monday. Scott Marsh was a 5 0 winner. John Brown had five darts at a double, didn't hit one of them. 60. Averaged 80. Scott Marsh averaged nearly 90. 41.67% on his doubles, 5 from 12. Wednesday's rematch went to John Brown, 5-2. He averaged just 90. shy of 90 this time, 1-180 apiece. Five out of eight on his doubles, though, 62.5% and a high finish of 1-1-3. 100. So this one is for bragging rights. Fifty-one. And what we've seen today, and I don't think I'd be going anywhere near Marsh at one to three. Ninety-two. Leaving this one well alone. Forty. All the odds I quote are best price odds before the Six. off today for a month checker. Sixty. So ninety-two for Scott Marsh to make it two now. Not got going at all yet, John Brown. 
Two. Twenty twenty dot hold of throw for Marsh. Following this one at twenty to two will be Fallon Sherrett versus Diogo Portella. Lively eleven to eighteen favorite in that one. Fifty six. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Down to 220 on throw. Here's John Brown. Marsh only 41 behind. 40. John Brown, a lot of low darts. Gives you an indication of being a little tight. Thirty-seven. Great cover shot from Marsh. Down to a two dart finish. Sixty-nine. One hundred. Great last dart to leave eighty, just in case. Two sixes. He was walking. 63. Oh, 80. Mm. John Brown. 20 in tops. Tops double 10 then. Game in three. And that's an 18 dart. Hold a throw. needed 80 checkout for John Brown 100 60 97 Eighty. Ninety. It's the first of the match, and it goes to Scott Marsh. Fifty-six. Not happening at all here for John Brown. Double sixteen. Uh, Twenty-eight. Two fours. Shot in two. It's a seventeen dart hold for Scott Marsh. Two 
seven legs away from a win and six points on the table. Fifty-seven. Ninety-six. Ninety-eight. One three nine. Move on 70. Again, nothing Marsh can hit to leave the finish. 125. 96. Another one of those to leave 36. That's unfortunate. Good pressure this from Marsh. 180. He pops in his second 180 of the match. Game three. Uh, great composure from John Brown and that 74 checkout. Goes for a 15 dart hold of throw. Just the one break of throw in the match so far. Scott Marsh, that's the, that was in the opening leg of the match. One forty. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Just down to two six one after six. Sixty. Fifty six. He's a two dark finish. A full two lead. 40. No finish for John Brown. Two darts at double 18. One left. 60. Ninety-six. Gaming one. And that's a sixteen dart holder throw this time for Marsh. Now he's just one leg away. Ninety-six. Marsh has one game left to play after this one, and that'll be against Alan Sherrill. 81. So at this stage, if Scott Marsh goes on to win this match, he's the only unbeaten player so far today. One from one for Fallon. He backs up the 180 with a 140. John Brown with it all to do from here. That's his first 180. One hundred thirty five. Ninety six. Possible eleven dart leg here for Scott Marsh. Tops. It's 
takes Ooh. two match darts for Scott Marsh. 16 double 16 for John Brown. Game two. He takes it out. Play 14 dart. Hold a throw. Still got it all to do, of course. Scott Marsh has the darts here to serve it out. 100. One forty. Forty one. Scott Marsh averaging in the mid nineties. John Brown averaging eighty three. One hundred. It's been much better than that the last. Three or four legs made a poor start. Ninety-five. A definite breaker throw opportunity here. Fifty-nine. Needed a trouble to leave a finish. A single nineteen leaves one seventy. Treble leaves 132. That needs a treble. 59. Doesn't find one. Well, ball, ball, double 16. So what are we going for? It's a ball, 82 left. Could go treble 14. He's gone for it. Two bulls eyes leave double sixteen. Oh, 100. That would have been a wonderful way to finish off the match. So one forty three for John Brown to save it. Trouble seventeen. Oh. Eighty seven. Thirty two one. And Scott Marsh gets the double sixteen. For a 13 darter, a really entertaining game that once John Brown got going. We're going to be back at 20 to 2 with Diogo Portella against Fallon Sherrill.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 8 of 15 today. Diogo Portella yep. up against Fallon Sherrock. a few technical issues. All right, looks like we're ready to pull up. And it is Diogo to pull up. And he hits the bullseye. Outside. Outside. Over there. That one, the only unbeaten player in the league right now. I'll give you a table update after our last one. Scott Marsh now played 4 1 3, 6 points plus 5. Fallon Sherrick played 1 1 1, 2 points plus 1. John Brown. Played two, one, one, two points. Jose Justicia played three, one, one, two points, minus one. Diogo Portella played three, one, one, two Nine, points, two, minus three. Keenan K played one, lost one, minus two. Keenan K back in action in our next match. And he's up against Jose Justicia. Forty-five. Eighty-three. That's Roy in the background giving his mum a bit of support. Diogo won their meeting on Monday, 5-3, averaged 85 and a half, Fallon just over 83, two 180s in the match, both to Diogo. Wednesday, 95. Diogo was the winner again, this time a closer affair, 5-4. Diogo averaged 87, uh, 77, Fallon nearly 87, three one eighties to Fallon, one to Diogo, but just four from 17 at a double for Fallon, only 23%, 41.67% for Diogo, five from 12. Diogo was the outsider in this one, 7 to 5, 11 to 18 about Fallon. But double 16, a hold throw. Oh, 17. Sixty two left, twelve ball. Eighty two and three. Finds the ball, not for the first time today. That's a twenty one dart. Break of throw in the opening leg of this match. One hundred. Still plenty of action to bring you today. As I've said, Jose Justicia against Keelan Cade to follow this one. 
Um, Fallon against Scott Marsh, who will be playing his final match of the day. Then Diogo versus Keelan. John Brown versus Jose. Keelan versus Fallon. John Brown versus Keelan. And in our final match, Fallon Sherrett versus John Brown. 140. Back to back 140s to start leg number two for Diogo. 54. 78. Finds the trouble 19 with her final dart to leave a finish of 144. But it's advantage Diogo. 39. Not now. Seventy-eight. Off the wire of the bullseye again. It happened on the one seventy attempt earlier. Oh, 20 tops, tops. Seen that from Jose a little earlier. Was the winner of the league Wednesday? 58. Can she do the double? 58. Darts like these, no reason why not. Back to back 140s. 58. Took that eighty two out in the opening leg on the ball. Fifty six. And then went twenty tops, tops to win leg number two. One ten left. Sixty. Double fifteen. Ooh. Um, eighty-two. To leave double four. Portella on one sixty. Another one of those that leaves double sixteen. One hundred twenty-eight. She needs an exit on this side of the board. Her favourite double is double 18. Oh, and she's in the corner of double 13. Checking one. Diogo holds throw, pinches one there. Well, of course, still has the break of throw. 96.
100. Players averaging around 80 95. at the moment. Much so far today has gone 84. A minimum of eight legs. Sixty the opening match was a five four win for Portello over Scott Marsh. Scott Marsh beat Jose Justicia 5-3, Jose beat Diogo 5-3, Scott Marsh beat Keelan K 5-3, John Brown beat Diogo 5-3, uh, Fallon beat Jose 5-4, and in our last match, Scott Marsh beat John Brown 5-3. Double sixteen for Fallon to re establish that two leg cushion. Thirty two and two. It's a seventeen dart holder throw. Good shot. Ninety eight. Here we go, Paul Teller using 59. some new darts at the moment. They arrived on Monday. In practice, he feels very, very comfortable with them, but not producing. In matches, well, we've seen flashes of brilliance from the Brazilian. 57. Needs to 59. find a trouble to get on terms with Fallon in this leg. It's looking like 4-1. Oh, Fallon. 28. Ninety-eight. Great last start to leave. One thirty. Well, the bigger shots favoured by the players because it only needs one treble twenty to leave the ball. One three four. Oh, that's a great setup shot from Fallon Sherrick. One thirty-four to leave double eight. He needs to treble, and that's a bit of a blocker. Sixty-five. So, double eight for the double break of throw. That's a 16 dart leg from Fallon Sherrick and a full one lead. These big wins are very useful. The players are level on points. It goes down to leg difference. And that's her first 180 of the match. Hit one in her opening game. Sixty. 
against Jose Justicia. And that was in the final leg of the match. Is this the final leg of this one? Over pitched. Move to third dart there. One hundred and forty. One hundred and twenty in front plus these. Uh, forty-two. Another treble. Leave a finish. Only eighty-five for six darts at one thirty-five for Fallon. That leaves 110. More trouble 20 would have left the ball. Um, 36 left, 99. 99 scored. She picks off the trouble 18 to leave her favourite double 18. 180 leaves 36. Two in. 100. Trouble 16. And finishes off with a very solid 15 dart leg there, Fallon Sherrick. And she runs out a big 5 1 winner, averaging 85.66. We're going to be back in a few minutes with Keelan K against Jose Justicia.
afternoon and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 9 of 15. Jose Chasticia up against Keelan K. 25 25 25 25 outside what the Wins the ball, gets us underway. Their third What's meeting, of course, ball? this week. Both had one win apiece. And both matches going all the way 5 4, which leads me to believe. 60. Price they've gone on this one. Jose Justicia seventeen to eleven. Keelan K four to seven. And those matches have gone five four. Ninety-seven. So one hundred and six. Treble eighteen. The double sixteen. Forty-three. Tops. Okay. 23. Oh, 90 for Jose to hold throw. Eighty-five. Just misses double five to take the ninety out. Game and one. It is a break of throw in sixteen darts for Keelan. is Keelan's second match of the day. Thought he was a bit unfortunate in his opener against Scott Marsh. Missed a lot of doubles, a lot of opportunities, but scored okay. That's continued so far in this one. 99. One hundred and five. One hundred and five. Eighty one to double his lead and hold throw. Uh, Thirteen left. Sixty eight scored. One thirty six for Jose. Needed two trouble twenties and double eight. 41. Mm, a bit lazy that last start. 13's no gimme. Lots can go wrong with this. 
Very nearly did. Nearly slipped into the 12. Nine. Game three. And takes the 95 out on the bullseye to break straight back. Alan Sherrick versus Scott Marsh to Mate. follow this one. It will be Scott's final oh, game of the day. Decide. May well decide today's winner. Keelan down to. 170. That leaves 36. Jose on 184. Looking at three wow. consecutive breaks of throw. If Elon can hit double 18, two nines. So 84 for Jose to steal yeah, another leg. Double 20, double 12, 2014 ball. That leaves double 11. Oh, 11 oh. Oh, he scared it. He couldn't convert. Game of three. Oh, he finds double one with his final dart for an 18 dart break of throw. Punishes the 58. 100. 140. Much better scoring from Jose in this leg. 100. 139 followed by 140. One hundred and five. Lose one hundred and seventeen. Is this going to be our fourth consecutive break of throw in this match? Tops. Seventy-seven. Oh, so close. One forty-seven. For Keenan. 107. Leaves tops. Twenty. Well, that should be two two. It's now gonna be three one. Game of if, one. No if about it. That's a sixteen dart hold, the first hold of throw in the match so far. And it gives Keenan K a two leg cushion. Now leads 3 1. Three darts there for Jose at 40. 100. To level things up. 100. Hmm. 
Matches will come thick and fast now for Keelan K. And then there's his first 180 of the match. Did have a 177, of course, in the opening leg of the match. 60. Up next, Fallon versus Scott. Then Keelan against Diogo. John Brown versus Jose. Keelan versus Fallon. And then Keelan straight back on against John Brown. And then we finish off with John Brown against Fallon Sherrock. Four left. Uh, Ninety two scored. Isn't that always the way? Jose. One hundred and thirty. Game and one. That's a thirteen dart break of throw. For Keelan. One hundred. Sixty. Eighty-eight is the average for Jose at the moment. Ninety-two and a half for Keelan K. Fifty-nine. Four out of 12 on his doubles, 33%. Only one from seven. 26. For Jose. Three one forties to Keelan. Two to Jose. Eight Ten five. scores of a ton or more for Keelan. Eight for Jose. Scoreline a little flattering. I'm sure you'll agree. In control of the leg of the match here, Keenan K. 137. 100. Look back just around about five minutes ago, Jose Justicia, three clear darts to level things back up and put us 100. back on the throw. Now it's looking likely he's going to be on the end of a 5 1 drubbing. A very, very tidy performance from Keelan K there, running out a 5 1 winner. An average of 92.54, 180 apiece, but missed opportunities there for Jose. We're going to be back with table topper Scott Marsh up against Fallon Sherrick in our next match.
Welcome back to the Modus Icons of the Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 10 of 15. Alan Sherrock up against Scott Marsh. This is Scott Marsh's final game of the afternoon. Yeah, I'm Scott wins the ball and will get us underway. Quick table update for you. Scott Marsh played 4 1 3. Six points. It starts with a max. Fallon played 2 1 2. Four points plus five leg difference. The same as Scott Marsh. Keelan K played two, one, one, two points plus two. John Brown played two, Six, one, one, two points. Jose Justicia played four, one, one, two points minus five. Diogo Portella played four, one, one, minus seven. Third meeting of the week, Monday. 81. Uh, when Scott Marsh won the league, he was a 5-1 winner in the final match of that day. Averaged just shy of 92. Good performance. Two 180s in the match, both to Scott Marsh. Five out of seven on his doubles, 71.43%. Only one from eight for Fallon. Different story on Wednesday. Wednesday, of course, was Fallon's day. She was the league winner. She was a 5-2 winner over Scott Marsh on that occasion. It's a wonderful game of darts. 5-1-80s in it. 3-2 to Fallon. Fallon averaged 94.5. Scott Marsh averaged nearly 99. Two ton plus finishes. A 1-2-4 for Scott Marsh. A 102 for Fallon. Shot three. And he's taken the 136 out. For a 15 dart holder throw. Five out of ten on Fallon's doubles on Wednesday. 50%. Two from four, 50% for Scott Marsh. The bookies price this one up 13 to 8 about Fallon Sherrick, 8 to 15 about Scott Marsh. 100. Great opening leg from Scott Marsh. A 180, a 136 finish. And all in 15 darts. 45. One hundred. Uh, one hundred. K versus. Diogo to follow this one. That will be Diogo Portella's final match of the day. Fifty-six for Fallon when she comes back. Ninety-five. 
Two fours. And she hits it for an 18 dart holder throw to level things up. Ninety-six and a ton to start. Leg number three for Fallon. Fifty-seven. Eighty two behind on throw here at Scott Marsh. That's eighty of them. One hundred and forty. Needed that. Ninety eight. Should be switching to an eighteen. Need one sixty four. And will she go new school or old school? Old school. Fifty seven. Um, 25 left. 18 ball to hold throw. 25 left. Just misses the ball. So nine, double eight for a break of throw and a 2 1 lead. No mistake at all. And that is the break of throw and the 2 1 lead. The win here will put Fallon, of course, on top of the table. One hundred Sixty. First 180 of the match for Fallon. 57. 80 points away from a hold of throw and a 3 1 lead. 20 for tops.
144 for Marsh. Oh, wow, 212s. 120. What a shot that would have been. Would have changed the complexion of this match completely, but that's a 16 dart hold a throw for Fallon. And that is the 3 1 lead. Two away. 57. On a big, big win. Could be a good, good omen when Scott beat Fallon on Monday. He was the league winner when Fallon beat Scott on Wednesday. 180. She went on to win the league that day. It's a second max for Marsh in this match. <clears throat> Sixty. Needs a treble. Nice Finds one with her final dart, picking off treble 18 to leave a much easier combination shot of 110. And this 144, he had a go at this, of course, in the last leg, missing double 12. 58. Two 18s. Ninety two scored. Eighty six. Treble eighteen. Single eighteen leaves the ball. Treble leaves double seven. Balls I needed. Moves back to the central position. Can't the ball. Double nine for four one. Darts two and three right on the wire of that double nine, as you can see. Six double sixteen. 38 and two. Ooh. Let's see. 20 dart hold a throw. Only just for Scott Marsh. Keeps him in the match. Four one down. Hit a bit of big, big ask against Fallon Sherrick. 3-2 though, keeps him well in it. 57. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Trebles eluding Fallon in this leg. Forty-three, forty, sixty, fifty-nine. Great chance for Marsh. One hundred. To level things up at three apiece and put us back on throw. And it continues. Six. 
60. Could do with another one of those. <laughs> He missed the double 16 off this bull bull combination earlier. 72 left. Ninety-six left. And he needed the trouble twenty for double eighteen. So seventy-two for a break of throw. For Scott Marsh. 20 for tops. 52. Narrowly misses tops. Oh, nice well, this game really should be over. Two. A 23 dart break of throw for Scott Marsh and he levels things up at three apiece. Three one up. Fallon has had darts in legs five and legs six. And not just the odd one, she's had multiple darts. Sixty. Ninety six. Eighty five. Sixty. Thirty needed to go for Fallon. Double eight for a full three lead. And three legs on the spin. Yeah, sixteen three. Oh, finds it with his last start. Eighteen dart hold of throw gives. Scott Marsh, a full three lead, was trailing 3 1. From three, le three one up, Scott Marsh is uh, one legs in 20, 23, and 18. And having multiple darts at a double in two out of them three legs. 
There's never a bad time. Uh, four, three up. After winning three legs on the spin, the timing of that 180 was perfect. Ninety-eight. That was his third of the match. He knows that Moss Shear may have put an end to his hopes of winning today's league. A win puts him in a great spot on eight points. Thirty-seven forty-two. Yeah, 74 and three. And Scott Marsh does get the job done, winning a really, really strange game there. Averages, nothing to write home for write home about, but it was a very exciting match. High finish of 136 from Scott Marsh. Don't forget he was 3-1 down. We're back with Diego Portella's final match, and he's up against Keelan Kay.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the Modus Icons of Dance Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 11 of 15 today. Keelan K up against Diogo Portella. Outside. 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 Twenty five. All the best. This is Diego's final match of the day. Against Keelan, who's playing his third match. Lost his opener 5 4, did Keelan to Scott Marsh. 100. Well, having a 5 1 win over Jose Justicia. Yogo won his first match against Scott Marsh, who then went on to remain unbeaten in the remainder of his matches, winning that 5-4. He's then gone on to lose 5-3 to Jose Justicia, 5-3 to John Bryant. 5 1 to Don Sheriff. 57. Third meeting of the week between these two. Monday, Diogo was a 96. 5 1 winner. Keelan won on Wednesday, 5 4, averaging nearly 85. Fifty nine. Keenan played very well against Jose Justicia in his last match. Averaged uh, nearly 93. Bookies made Keelan a 4-6 favourite. Portella 5-4. 60. I think that 4-6. Reasonably inviting. Three. That's an 18 dart holder throw. It's slightly unconventional, hitting the double five when he wanted tops, but found double 15 with his final dart. 60. John Brown and Jose Justicia to follow. Eighty-one. Eighty-six. Quick table update, not too much has changed. Scott Marsh still top of the table. He's finished for today. Played five, won four. As I said, lost his opener to Diogo and won the next four. He's on eight points, plus seven leg difference. Alan Sherrock played three, won two, four points plus three. She's not out of the equation, of course, has to win her two remaining matches. Keelan K played two, one one, plus two leg difference. John Brown played two, one one, level on leg difference. Jose Justicia.
Day four at 1 1 at two points minus five. Diogo Portella, six, foot of the six. table. Day four at 1 1 minus seven. Ironically, the only game he has won today. Could be against today's league winner. One hundred and forty. Tops for Keelan for two nil and a break of throw. Tens. Game of three. Tens. Gets there in the end. Wins the leg in eighteen darts and it is a break of throw. Fifty-nine. Four players have currently Not lost free. only the one match, that being Scott Marsh, Alan Sherrick, Keelan Kay and John Brown. So Fallon, Keelan and John Brown mathematically 100. still in the mix. All of course have to Remain unbeaten. 58. And win their matches as by a wider margin as possible. Plus seven leg difference isn't big. 115. For example, Martin Adams yesterday was plus 15. So chances are plenty for the players today. Ninety. Diogo and Jose, of course, not in the mix, having lost both lost three matches. Sixty. Just wired tops there, underneath the bottom wire for three now. It's finishing has not been too bad today, especially with this final dart. 28. So, two tens. Game of one. For 19 darts, holds throw, extends his lead to three. For example, a 5 0 win here for Keelan would put him on four points and a leg difference of plus seven. 121. Someone could come out of the pack. 85. Ninety-three. One hundred and thirty-five. Two 
Takes him down to 102, so a bit of pressure now on this 57. One dart left. 17. Uh, 102 finish here. Keelan K will be huge. Went for the 42 for tops. 54. Two darts in hand. Makes sense, of course. Travel bigger than the bullseye. That's a 16 dart holder throw, courtesy of that 180, of course. For Diogo Portella. 100. Ninety-six. Eighty-five average for Keelan K. Eighty-one for Diogo. One Ninety seven. One hundred. Keenan down to a finish of one one seven after. 12 darts, possible 15 dart leg. Diogo's not too far behind 80. him. Oh, and another, another dart on the floor. 57. Trouble 19 for double eight. 93. 20 in tops for Keelan for full one. Oh, Keelan, 40. Two tens for full one. Game in one. Certainly got away with one there. One hundred. Seven. A bit of Peter Locke about him, Keelan K. With his movement of his mouth. Ninety-five. Wonderful Welsh international player, of course. Forty-six. Still throws a mean dart nowadays, by all accounts. One hundred and thirty-nine. Ah. Forty-four. Oh, great chance, Keelan K here. To see this one out with a big 5 1 win, and he needs 70 points. One hundred and forty. Game two. And he takes the 78 70 out in 
14 darts there. Finishes off with an average just shy of 86 and puts himself right in the mix for today's title. Up next, John Brown is up against Jose Justicia.
Welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase Four. Phase Four brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number twelve of fifteen. Get the pull up out the way, and I'll give you a table update. Who's a slotted one straight in the ball? So we'll get the honour in this 12th match of 15. Six. Ninety-six. Scott Marsh played five. He's finished for the day. One four. Lost one. Eight points plus seven. Keelan K played three. One two. Four points plus six. Balan Sherrick played through three, one, two, four points plus three. John Brown played two, one, one, two points. Jose Justicia playing his final match of the day, played four, one, one, two points one. minus five. Diogo Portella, he's finished for the day, played five, one, one. Two points minus an eleven on the leg difference. So John Brown with a win here will still be in the mix. As is Fallon Sherrick and Keelan K, of course. Ninety five. Ninety seven. Potentially could all come down to leg difference. Sixty six. Ninety three then for John Brown. Will he go ball? Will he go trouble nineteen? One for the ball. Hit the ball, so forty three left. Caught in two minds there. Should always go for the three. You push it left. You're on two twelves. Push it right, of course. Eight. Um, you're still on a double, so. Game and one. Didn't make any difference. It's a break of throw in nineteen darts. Yeah, on forty three. You go left in the nineteen. Leaves 24, go right in the 17, leaves double 30. 60. Well, very much like Keelan K in the last one. A big 90. win here for John Brown. Put him right in the mix. 60. John Brown priced up at 4 to 5 for this one. Jose Justicia, 11 to 10. 58. Like in the last one, I liked K at 4 to 6. I like Brown in this one at 4 to 5. Monday, John Brown was a 5-3 winner, averaged 93.35 to Joe's Hayes, Jose's 87.15. 1 180 in the match, that went to John Brown. A high finish of 141 went to John Brown and 5 out of 12 on his doubles, 41.67%. Wednesday, Jose got a bit of revenge, winning 5-2. Uh, it was a very under par performance from John Brown in that one. Jose averaged 86, no 180s, high finish of 78, but 55.56% on his doubles. John Brown down at 22%, 2 out of 9. 46. And he's 
frustratingly just missed two darts there for a 2 0 no lead. And that's a 20 dart break back for Jose. Might be throwing a touch too quick for me at the moment, John Brown. Nice rhythm to his throw in the last two visits. Jose down to 120 with the darts. 146 for John against the darts. Finds the trouble 20 with his final dart to lead 52. No finish now for Jose. 60. Sixteen, and that's a third consecutive break of throw in this match. One three one. Ninety six. Another big match to follow this one in terms of the league table. Keelan K will be facing off against Fallon Sherrock. To leave 170. Good thinking from Jose Justicia. Another trouble 20 will leave John Brown tops. That's a great third dart. Found the gap. Another one of those leaves ball. 83. So tops for our first hold of throw. Game one. And that's a lovely leg of darts from John Brown coming in just 13. 26. That's unlucky. Two trouble ones, 26 the hard way. 43. Chance on the Jose throw here. Needs a two trouble visit, ideally. Six starts at 174 for John Brown for a full one lead. Sixty-four. 
110. One hundred and thirty seven. Oh, oh, um, twenty five. That's a four, so sixty six left. Double nine. Fifty two. Oh, yeah. Another chance for John Brown. John. Three for double four. Composes himself, resets. Game and three. Let's see. Great dark. And it is the double break. Just took time there to regroup. One, three, five. It's more like it. If there was any kind of critique with his game today. Far too many visits where it's just the single treble been hit. 56. If I was to be over critical, of course. One hundred. He's had just the two one forties in this match. One hundred. And eight scores of a ton or more. But very impressive on his finishing. Four out of seven, fifty seven point one four per cent. Forty five. No one eight is in the match so far. Ninety five. His to lose from here. No. Bounce outs aren't good any time. Never mind when you fall one down. And your opponent's on a finish. 76 left. 59. Topsy needs, Topsy gets, finishes off with a 17 darter and a very, very useful 5-1 win. Finished with an average of just over 83, but 5 out of 8 on his doubles, 62.5%. Big match coming up next, Keelan K against Fallon Sherrick.
Welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4, brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is match number 13 of 15. Fallon Sherrock up against Keelan Kay. I will bring you a table update and the importance of this match when they get the ball out of the way. And Fallon wins the ball. So gets the honour in the odd number legs. One hundred. The loser of this match is out of the equation in terms of winning today's league. Scott Marsh tops the table, finished his matches for the day. Played five, one, four, eight points plus seven. Keenan K played three, one, two, four points plus six. John Brown still in the mix. Played three, one, two, four points plus four leg difference. Fallon Sherrick still in the mix. Played three, one, two, four points plus three on the leg difference. Jose Justicia finished for the day. Played five, one, one, two points minus nine. Diogo Portella played five, one, one, two points minus 11. First max of the match goes to Keenan against the throw. It's double 19. For 13 data. Nineteen. Not sure about that with Fallon on 166. One thirty. Ah. Pressure on hitting the big number to leave a double now. Game in three. Ooh. Thank you. Got away with that one in the end. That was a break of throw in 18 darts. Keelan K, the favourite for this one, Fallon Sherrick at 11 to 10. 100. Third meeting of the week. 100. Monday, Keelan was a 5 2 winner, averaged just over 85. 99. Fallon averaged 77. Bit of a scrappy one. On uh, Wednesday, of course, when Fallon was our winner, she defeated Keelan K 5 3, averaged just over 91. Had a high finish of 136 and had 50% on her doubles. And that's 180s in the opening two legs for Keelan K. Tops. Yeah, game in two. That's a 14-dart holder throw. Oh, Keelan, come on. 22. Nine. 
28. So, a chance here to Fallon to get a foothold in the match. Nice five. 119. Six starts at this 178 for Fallon. If she needs them. 138. Tops left. 177. Oh, that's a great visit to lead 50. And one. Well, that's a 19 dart hold a throw. Opening three legs 180 in leg one for Keelan, a 180 in leg two, and a 177 there at the end of the leg. Back to back 140s on the Keelan K throw for Fallon Sherrick. Come on, Keelan. 58. We'll need to break back, of course, at some stage. 140. Three 140s. Takes Fallon down to 81 after 9. 99. Possible 11 dart leg, trouble 15. 49. Um, 32 left after 12. 32 and 1. That's a 13 dart break of throw for Fallon Sherrick. Leveling things back up at two apiece, and we're back on throw. Um, 65. Worked hard to get back in the match after losing the opening two legs. 96. Responded by winning legs three and four. One hundred. One forty. One twenty. Oh, this leg could be pivotal. Ninety-six. Legs five and six in a best of nine match always seem to be. Need to travel. That leaves one oh eight. Seventy one. So tops this ninety six has to go.
great second dart and an amazing third dart what a recovery that is a 96 check out paul fallon sherrick for an 18 dart hold of throw This is the difficulty of playing darts at home. It's an unusual environment. That's a great switch and cover shot from Keelan K. Great recovery in the leg from Fallon. Started off with 60. 97. Responded with back to back 140s to take her down to 161. Trouble 17 and ball. 97. So 80 for Keelan K after just 12 darts. Possible 14 dart leg. Needs a trouble now. Misses double 11 after finding the trouble 19. 64 for Fallon. 43 left if that's trouble 7. Double 17. And she hits the double 17 for a 15 dart break of throw. Now is the opportunity to serve it out for a 5 2 win. 43. 5-2 win here for Fallon Sherrick will take her into second spot. And on plus six in legs. Win in her last game. Against John Brown, 5-3 or better, would give her today's title. A lot can happen between now and then, of course. 42. But she has the chance, down to 246. Keenan K back on 283. Two good visits away. And there's one of them. So six starts at 112 for a 5 2 win. It's a bit awkward. 52. Just looking for the trouble 12 to leave double 18. But she will be back at 60. How much pressure will be on it? Oh, Not as much as a flat tyre. Tops, tens, 
And she sees it out for a 5-2 win and does move into second spot on that table and potentially one win away from doing the double this week. Keelan Kay will be staying on and he's up against John Brown in our next one.
Welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League. Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is our penultimate match of the day. And it's a big one for John Brown. He's still in the mix. Outside. Keelan Kay losing out to Fallon in the last one has removed him from the equation. John Brown wins the ball. I will give you a quick table update. One forty. Scott Marsh, still top, played for five, one, four, eight points plus seven leg difference. Fallon Sherrick now, played four, one, three, six points plus six on the leg difference. John Brown, played three, one, two, four points plus four on the leg difference. Keelan K played four, one, two, four points plus three. Jose and Diogo at the foot of the table, both with one win apiece. And of course, they, like Scott Marsh, have completed their five matches. Final match of the day, of course, will be between Fallon and John Brown. And the winner of that one. Could well decide who wins today's title. 58. May need my abacus. 55. Well, today, of course, all come down to leg difference. 108. It's a great setup shot from Keelan K. Tops for John Brown. 52. Game of one. That's a break of throw for Keelan. These two met on Monday. Keelan K winning 5 2 impressively with a near 96 average, 1 180, high finish of 91, 50% on his doubles. John Brown just shy of an 88 average. 95. John Brown got some revenge on Wednesday, winning 5 3. Averaging nearly 84, 5 one forties, 12 scores of a ton or more, a high finish of 140, did have another ton plus finish in that match, and 41.67% on his doubles, 5 from 12. 56. John Brown was priced up at five to four. Keelan K, an eight to thirteen favourite. Fifty-eight. Fifty-six. One forty-seven for John Brown. One, two, nine. Just misses the double 18 to break straight back. Two darts at eight. Two. Only needs the one. That's a 17 dart hold of throw and a 2 0 lead for Keelan K. Fourteen. Ninety-five. 
100. Must win Nine like six. this for John Brown. One thirty nine to Keelan K takes him down to one one three after twelve. Sixty six. No finish for John. So six starts at one one three. Uh, Seventy three. Just misses tops for the checkout. 16. Oh, tops for 3 0 and a double break of throw. Tens. Game in two. Well, it's solid, if not spectacular, for Keelan K at the moment. Averaging just over 85. 81. Both have hit 1 140. And both have hit four scores of a ton or more. But none from two one on four. the doubles for John Brown. Three out of five for Keelan K. 60%. 94. One hundred. One forty. A lot more fluidity to his throw from going three nil down. It does happen, of course. A player will just open his shoulders and relax. Far more natural. Forty seven. Four to get his first leg on the board. Well, that's a hundred and two, so double six left. Eighty four then for Keelan K for four nil. Reaching the point of no return for John Brown. Wants the ball. 59. That's a 16 dart. Break of throw for John Brown. Fifty-seven. Again, a lot of low darts. Could be tension in the arm or a little bit late on the release. In this leg. 96. Still work to do. Another 140. 59. Nice. 
99. Okay, so it's down to a finish, down to 110. Eighty-six. Come round down to ninety-nine. Ninety-two. Ten double sixteen. Sixty-seven. That may have been a game changer had that gone in. Double nine, a king and K, the full one, one double four. Fourteen. Another chance for John Brown. Thirty two required, three darts in hand. Mm. Well, I'm not sure how much now of the double you can actually see. We have to go left and go top corner. It's gone right. This four. Game of three. Well, it's a twenty-one dart breaker throw in the end. And frustration for John Brown. Four darts there to get back in this match. One forty. Ninety three. Four out of twelve on his doubles at the moment. Keelan K, thirty three point three three percent, just one from eight. For John Bryant, twelve point five percent. Ninety six. Is it one less score of a ton plus than Keelan K? Six five in far in favour of Keelan K in that column, but five two up John Brown in the one forty column. Fifty eight. This doubles have been seriously costly. One three four. It's a great cover shot to leave ninety, but one two five for the match should be going ball. Twenty five leaves him a ton. Ball leaves him 75, so most likely he would stay there. Tops. 85. Ooh. So, 90. This will be a match saver. Ball. 42. Just a slight lift of the head. Pulls the dart to be dragged low and right. Ninety-five. Sixteen for double sixteen. Just in the sixteen. And finds the double sixteen. And that's a much needed 17 dart breaker throw for John Bryan. Really should be 3 all. But he's 4 2 down. Maximum of three legs Five, remain, six. and John Bryan's got to win them all. Six and a ton from Keenan takes him down to three oh five. John Brown throw. Fifty. 
140 Need something similar 123 Down to a finish that only needs the one trouble oh, in the combination. Uh, it's it's come off the ball wire for the win. Trouble 19. No. So 50 um, for Keelan K. And Keelan K gets the job done in a bit of a scrappy affair there. Too many missed doubles for John Brown. He'll be staying on. He's out the equation now, as is Keelan K. But Fallon Sherrock is one big win away from winning today's title. So John Brown will be staying on. He'll be facing Fallon Sherrock in around about nine minutes.
Welcome back to the Modus Icons of Darts Live League Phase 4 brought to you in association with Red Dragon. This is our final match of the day. John Brown up against Fallon Sherrock. Outside. 25. On the ball. So a 5-3 win or better for Fallon and she is today's league winner with Scott Marsh finishing second. 100. A 5-4 win and Scott finishes first and Fallon finishes second. Any win for John Brown and Scott is first and Keenan K is second. One hundred. One three four. Another great cover shot from Fallon. Takes her down to one eight three on the John Brown throw. Sixty. Fallon was the eleven to eighteen favourite. John Brown was priced five at seven to five. One three four. Double five. A 19 dart, hold a throw for John Brown. Monday's meeting between these two was a 5 4 win for Fallon Sherrick. 1 3 5. On Wednesday, Fallon did the double, winning 5 2. 100. 1 1 80 in the match to Fallon. 4 1 uh, 40 and 8 scores of a ton or more. 35% on her doubles. Neither matches set the world on fire. 59. Ninety-three. Good last start from John Brown to leave on fourteen after twelve. Don't forget, we are back tomorrow morning, ten thirty a.m. Make sure you subscribe if you're watching via YouTube. Hit that alert bell and we'll send you a notification when we do go live in the morning our opening match Keen Barry up against Mike Warburton Boris Koltsoff in action Scott Mitchell Martin Adams and Stephen Burton yesterday's winner was Martin Adams. Tuesday's winner was Boris Koltsov. Will one of them do the double this week? Fallon 
desperately need to get into this match. She has to win 5-3 or better, of course, to win today's title. Ninety seven. Ninety nine. Sixty. One hundred. Down to a finish of one thirty eight. Feel that John Brown will be down a lot lower than that, and he is 140, takes him down to 49. 98. So 49 for 3 0. Game of two. So Fallon has to win them all from here. Or the or today's title belongs to Scott Marsh, and he will do the double this week, having won on Monday. Ninety-two. Ninety six. One points behind on throw here, Fallon. Nothing is happening. Troubles elude her. 93. Down to 120. 105. As is Fallon. 20 for tops for a 15 darter and a 4 0 lead. The third successive seventeen dark leg. And fourth leg without reply for John Brown. So that hands today's title to Scott Marsh. Congratulations to him. First one of the match goes to Fallon. Ninety six. Down to one six four after just nine darts. One forty. Brown down to one one four, and we'll get a go at that to win it five nil. Okay. 
needed either of those trebles to leave a double. 58 leaves 56, so 104 to keep the match alive. Correct. So 16 tops for JB. Sixteen. Two eights, two darts in hand. One left. And John Brown completes the job, winning 5 0. 82 average there for Fallon, 84 44 for John Brown. So, congratulations to Scott Marsh doing the double this week after winning on Monday. And congratulations to Keelan Kay finishing in, in second spot. We're back tomorrow morning, 10 30 a.m with Mike Warburton up against King Barry. We'll see you then.